Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another empties slash declutter for you. And here, I warn you, it's a lot of lip products. It's insane. So it's all makeup. There's no skincare in here. I mean, technically, is it lip balm? A skincare item. I'm not sure. So anyways, I'm going to get started with something that I should actually purchased. I think there are two things in here that I repurchased. And we purchased both of these and they're both empty. So this is the Laneige, uh Lip Slipping Mask in Sweet Candy. It smells so good. I have it on right now. It smells like cotton candy. Absolutely amazing. I love it. Would always put it. Is it is it the most moisturizing lip balm I ever used? No, but I like to put it on and it smells good. It's, it's it is moisturizing. So I will continue it. And like I said, I repurchased it. This one I had in a set with the Maracuja lip balm thing, whatever. Shape tape in 16 and fair like neutral. Concealer by Todd. I have that on right now as well. I just love these things. It's, I think, the perfect match. Easy to work with. I mean, it dries out very quickly, so you have to be quick. But really enjoy them. I would purchase them. I can highly recommend. This I absolutely hate it. This is the Giorgio Money. It's, it's, a, it's a sample. Lip Power Long Wear Vivid Color Lipstick. As you can see, 3N here. The brush that came with it is absolutely terrible. It's so stiff and it's so stiff it actually hurts the lips. Then I tried to use 504. It's called Flirt. It's the, the berry shade here. I don't like the way this looks. It dries down and it it dries down so much and actually makes my lips hurt. So I do not like it. If you like it, good for you. I just do not like it. And I'm happy it was a sample. Imagine buying the whole lipstick. I don't know how much it is, but imagine buying that. I think the rest is actually all lip products. Oh no, 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 no. I used the turquoise one up a while ago. This is the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in Exit. It's a white, as you can see. Very thin. You know, they break off very easily. Let's just say that. There's a lot of it missing. That's not because I used it up, but because it broke off many times. I figured, you know, a, a nice white in the waterline would make my eyes look a bit more awake, not as tired as I am right now. This is absolutely terrible to get on your eyes or on your waterline. It's easy to do a swatch on the back of your hand because, you know, warm and you can press a bit hard. See, it broke off again. Uh, you can press a bit harder. If you press this hard on your waterline, you will injure yourself. So I do not like this. This is more the second one. I had a peach one as well. I don't like these. I seriously don't like this. This I really enjoyed. This is the oh my god, Colourpop Lip Oil in Smirk. There's still a bit left, but you know, I took the stop out as well. I cannot reach that. I love these things. I bought a new one from the BT21 collection, of course. I mean, I had to. I like these. They, they just give a slight. Let me see if I can give you a swatch. Oh, there. Just a light wash of color. Super comfortable on the lips, very lightweight. I really enjoy them, which is why I bought another one. This I actually repurchased as well. Forgot to mention that this is the Colourpop Lipsticks in Parker. It's a matte, and yes, I know I said I don't like matte products on my lips, but this formulation is really good. I don't know what they did with it, but I like it. It broke off quite often too, so uh, be gentle with your Colourpop products because they break off. Perfect shade, really, really beautiful. And they have a new packaging. I think the packaging now looks like the color itself and not white anymore. I cannot wait to get that here. So these two I'm actually gonna rid of. These the these are the Essence Juicy Bump lip glosses in Lovely Raspberry and Proud Pitaya. They're just not that nice. They're very sticky, they're very gooey. The packaging is nasty. I don't like them. They're not doing anything to your lips, they don't moisturize them. In fact, they actually dry out your lips faster, so no. If anyone, do you remember those lip glosses from the 90s that had a, that more like a roller gloss? You know, like with a roller thing? If anyone knows a good one, let me know. Because these are also like 90s, early 2000s. I miss those times. So if anyone knows a good roller lip balm or lip gloss, let me know. Okay, so then this is the Labello limited edition. I don't even know if it's limited edition or not. With Olaf, right? This is... Vanilla buttercream. You know how I love my um, lip balms? I mean, yeah. I have a lip balm in every single room, but this is I cannot deal with. 
It smells amazing, right? It smells like vanilla. It doesn't really have any color to it. I know it looks red or dark, but it doesn't have any color to it. It's good. But you try that your lips. It's funny because Labello is supposed to, you know, it's, it's a chapstick, right? It's supposed to moisturize lips if your lips are already dry or maybe not cracked, but you know, if you have problems with your lips, you put this on, it's supposed to help, it's supposed to moisturize, whatever. It's also a very weird feeling. It's kind of sticky and heavy on your lips. I do not like this at all. Like I said, I love lip balms and I use them up. I even go in with my finger just to scrape out everything. <gasps> that reminds me, I have another one. Hold on. See? This is all the way up. This, this is the original Labello. Love it. Would always be purchased. Yeah, but the, the butter, vanilla buttercream thing is just absolutely horrible. <sighs> Two very beautiful dark products. Don't like them at all. This is the NYX Lingerie Push Up Long Lasting Lipstick in Teddy. Look, I didn't even use it as much. You can still see the little knob there. I didn't even use that often. Gorgeous shade. Look at that. A very beautiful dark brown. Gorgeous. But this has mint or menthol to it. It's stinging on your lips, first and foremost. Second off, this dries down so mad. To the point where it's actually like... like what? This is a weird example, but it's like soaking in your lips, you know what I mean? Like a, a very weird and uncomfortable feeling on my lips. So, I love the look of it, but I'm not... I will not do this. It's just... No, this is not nice. And then this one, the Maybelline Matte Ink Superstay in Escapist. Yes, I know matte ink, I should have realized it, but you know, I didn't. I really like the color of it. Dark plum purple. Gorgeous. And the only reason why I don't like it, it's not even because it's that matte. I mean, it is. It's not, it's not hurting. It's not, it's not like this, like, sucking your lips. You this <laughs> gives me that very weird rim on my inner lips, you know what I mean? You have like the dark color, and then inside it's just... It looks weird. That's the only reason why I'm not wearing this and why I'm getting rid of it. I'm, I'm pretty sure you know what I mean with the weird rim. It looks very awkward, very weird. It's what I wear, it just does not look fluttering on me at all. So that was it. All the parts that I used up are decluttered. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you decluttered recently because I'm sure, I'm sure there's a lot. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel already. And see you next time.